So loss reserve for us in market lend is actually built on the basis of protecting against the possibility that we have someone who falls in default and therefore there is a differential or a shortfall between say in an insured position, the amount of insurance that's paid and the amount that's actually essentially owed. Or in the case of an uninsured, it'll be that the assets themselves don't sufficiently cover the shortfall to the amount that's been advanced to the borrower himself or the account holder. What we do with the loss reserve is, is that we essentially collect that loss reserve and if the actual borrower has paid on time at all times, they'll get their loss reserve deducted off their balance when they owe the money. However, what we do do is we actually hold that in a separate trust account and we enable that loss reserve to be assisting investors to actually protect against that additional risk they have that the insurance may have a shortfall, not significant, but or that the actual underlying assets and the guarantor guarantee situation isn't sufficient to cover that, as well as possibly the fact that it takes a lot longer to actually collect the debt. So therefore, there is a need to cover that cost during that time.